I'd like now to have us bring in Jeff Rulison from Menlo Park, and we'll switch to his Council. He's sitting at one just like this, been working independently. Hi, Jeff. Oh. <laughs> We're not hearing you very well. Oh, you're yet. not hearing me? How about now? That's fine. Okay. All right. You programmers are the ones who most intensely found use for working online as we're building up. Show them how you structured the your uh, system guide. Okay? Okay. Uh, I think we can do that. Uh, we can get sort of a good feeling for the way the whole system is put together by looking through the system guide. The, uh, the file is one that system programmers sort of put together, help them get around. NLS right now is getting to be a fairly large program. It's not huge by a lot of standards, but it, uh, it's getting pretty big. This uh, picture in our system guide file is a picture of the overlay structure. Uh, from the picture, I can move to a little section in this file, which is an area that system programmers leave around notes for each other. Um, there's nothing much interesting here. A little bit about the documentation and the patch space that's left. Right from this spot, I can actually move out to the file. Suppose that I were going out in that control meta language Doug was talking about, and just try to see, uh, for example, the uh, routines used in the uh, delete word or move word. Let's go look at move word construct. I just select this link, and here is the file. This file is written in a, one of these many special languages that we've designed. This language has helped us uh, write the kind of fast, tight code that we want, that we have to have to, to operate in the time-sharing system. And at the same time, it, it's given us a lot of flexibility. Uh, it's also the phrase structure of the MOL is designed to sort of mesh with the uh, block structure of NOL, NLS. So here I've got a while statement. To see what's in that while statement, I can move down and see its three statements, which is an if statement. The, uh, the if statement is, two, is a single if statement, which has an if and an else part. And that whole block opens up to all of that. So by using the MOL like this, I'm able to move around very quickly in my MOL files. Also able to sort of zoom in and out of things. By having all of our compilers in, written in a, in a high level language themselves, we've been able to change them all the time. So we're not only able to quickly modify the uh, syntax of the control language for NLS itself, or the meanings of of the commands by, by working in our high-level language, but we're also able to go in and just change the compilers as quickly as we have to, to accommodate all sorts of new hardware features and experimenting that we do like that. Uh, one of the interesting things that NLS does, just an advantage of being online, is it keeps track of who you are and what you're doing all the time. So on these statements, uh, on everything, every statement that you write, it keeps track of who you are and when you did it. So not only can people leave notes around for each other, but sort of automated into how they, there's an automated aid here that tells us who did it, and when they did it, and 